Jesus. Hallelujah. Are we happy today? Yes. Ah. I'm elated. Am I okay for interrupting? <laughs> exactly. Okay, let's get seated in the house of the Lord. Thank you so much. Thank you, everybody, for coming. Thank you, and thank everyone that came, for those that are invited people, and believe me, I wouldn't want to waste much of our time, because we're actually here to praise and worship God. So, um, permit me to take us down to the reason why we're here. If we have our Bible, or our Bible in our mobile phones, can we please go to Psalm 103? From verse 1 to 5. If you are there, shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Thank you so much. So I'll read from Psalm 103 from verse 1 to 5, which says, Let all that I am praise the Lord. And today, everything, whatsoever that makes us, our degree, our career, everything that makes us human, living and breathing, we are here praising God and worshiping God. And with my whole heart, I will praise his holy name. And we know of only one holy name in life, which is our God in heaven. Let all that I am praise God. And the next says, may I never. We know that um, the therapist and everybody will tell us not to use the word never in life. But it gets to a time you have to make use of that particular word never. And it says, may I never forget the good things he does for me. And can we add my family then? Because we are not alone on earth. And no man is an island. So may we never, even if God, if not seen the goodness of God in your life, if you check well in your family, you will see that goodness of God. For your parents to be alive is the goodness of God. So may we never Forget the good thing he has done for us and our family. And it goes down to list. Maybe you are thinking, why am I even praising God? There are lots of things he has done, no? A few minutes ago, most of us have committed one sin or the other. Example, the fastest one is lying. Someone called you, not picking up the phone. Oh, I was baiting. Were you baiting? Oh, I was sleeping. Were you sleeping? You can't even say, sorry, I didn't, I didn't pick the call. But you might... You will add something behind it to validate you not picking the call. That's a lie. So it went for that to say, he forgives all my sins. I'm sorry, can we personalize it? I'm not the only sinner. Hello? <laughs> so he forgives all my sins and he heals all my diseases. It went for that to say, he redeems me from death. Every day, people die. Are we aware? Every day, people are born. But for the fact that we are alive today, can't we praise him? That's why we are here. And then he went for that to say, and crowns me with love and tender mercy. So if you think you're not finding love, God loves you. If you love him back, then he will send the love which you desire to you. Just love on him first. And he went for that to say, he fills my life with good things. If you're here and your life is filled with bad things, wave to the Lord. And if your life is filled with good things, shout hallelujah. hallelujah. So that's it. So he filled my own life, fills your life, fills our life with good things. And who are we? Hello, who are we? Okay, so we are human beings, we are his children. Which category are we? Uh uh, Sister Sharon. <laughs> you don't win all our quizzes. So. <laughs> so the final uh, the final line says, My youth. One more question. They always say that in your young age, do the things you need to do so that in your old age you enjoy the benefit of the things you've done. So let me now put it to words now. In your young age, when you don't serve God, is it your old age that you will serve him? If you don't dance for him now, 
Is it when your bones are weak that you will dance for him? If you don't praise him now that your blood is young, is it when you've wasted the whole time pursuing careers and everything, and then you feel like, oh, it's time to just relax and thank God? Is that when you would do it? It's a question we need to ask ourselves. If you don't tell your neighbor about God or who he is, is it when, for example, you can't be able to do some certain things and now come and start using the mic to tell the whole world? Why don't we make the use of our youth now? And that last verse told us, my youth is renewed like the eagles. So if in our youth we can soar high like the eagles, what's stopping us from worshiping God, telling people about God, in our various schools, in our workplaces, in our career, telling people who God is. So that brings us to what we are doing here today. We are here to dance to him. We are here to exalt him for sustaining us from year to year. We are here to give him praise. Out of our busy schedules, we are here to tell him we love you and he matters in our life. Are we all right? Hope I didn't debate us too far. <laughs> All right, thank you so much. And we did. Um, so for today, I would like us to, in the, in, the, in the spirit of praise and worship and thanksgiving, we'll be giving some thanks to God, okay, guys? Thank you so much. So we'll project our offering on the board, our um, offering account on the board, please. Let's give our offering to God. And if you're ready with your offering, um, just let us know. Thank you. So, um, before us is our um, Streams of Joy account, okay, guys? So, actually, the offering is going to the church account. So, if we are ready with our offering, um, can we rise to God with happiness and joy in thanksgiving? And then I'll call on Pastor Sarah <laughs> to pray for the <laughs> for us all oh, giving unto God. Thank you, Ma. So with joy in our hearts, Father, we thank you for the opportunity to give out of the goodness and the abundance that you've given unto us in the name of Jesus. As we bring our sacrifice of thanksgiving in our substance, I pray that everything we give to you is multiplied back to us in the name of Jesus. Receive all glory, honor, and praise in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you. So as we cast our offering, we are going down to, remember, we are here to praise God in various ways. So in our program list, we have our first presentation by we have brother till done if he's ready let's welcome him guys please keep casting your offering thank you hallelujah Amen. somebody shout hallelujah. hallelujah look to your neighbor and say he that is in me is greater than he that is in the world. I'm moving mountains like it's nothing at all. I've got the power to overcome. You better be ready for this one. Come on, let me see your hands in the air. I'm holding on. I'm not letting go. When the going gets tough, I just keep on going. When the road gets rough, I just keep on pushing. Cause I know there's a victory I'm waiting on the other side. As I swim against the tide. And when I feel like giving up, your grace keeps my chin up. And though I should be doomed, still I'm not consumed. Just because of me, but because of Christ and me, yeah. He that's in me is greater than he that's in the world. I got the power. I got the power to overcome. I'm moving mountains like it's nothing at all. I got the power. 
I've got the power. Now listen, when you face opposition, just take your position in the rock of ages. Show the devil what his face is. Let him know he's already defeated by Jesus. And through him, you've been lifted above principalities and false realities. And even if he knocks you down, you can't stay down. Because the power that lives inside of you made the dream of salvation come true. And now we're living it up in the presence of the Lord. As he fills our cup, he's overflowing. There's a flood. We can't help the joy we feel. The devil doesn't stand a chance. And just like David would want to break into a victory dance. He that's in me is greater than he that's in the world. I've got the power. Come on, sing it. I've got the power to overcome. I'm moving mountains like it's nothing at all. I've got the power. I've got the power. Now do this. He that's in you is greater than he that's in the world. You've got the power. You've got the power to overcome. You are moving mountains like it's nothing at all. You've got the power. You've got the power. Come on. Our shepherd, our God, with him by our side, we're doing exploits. Every throw is three points. And when the world be wondering how we're doing, what we're doing, when we're constantly winning, they're going to want what we're having. It's not by power and it's not by might. It's not by knowing what is wrong and what is right. It's by the spirit of the most high. And that's the truth that no one can deny. He that's in you is greater than he that's in the world. You've got the power. You've got the power to overcome. You're moving mountains like it's nothing at all. You've got the power. Say you've got the power to overcome. He that's in you is greater than he that's in the world. Got the power. You've got the power to overcome. Say you're moving mountains like it's nothing at all. You've got the power. You've got the power to overcome. Come on. He that's in you is greater than he that's in the world. You got the power. Say you got the power to overcome. Are you moving mountains like it's nothing at all? You got the power. Say you got the power to overcome. Hallelujah. Put your hands in the air. Say you got the power to overcome. Praise God. Did we enjoy that? Are we overcoming? We got the power. Do you have the power? I have the power too. So next, oh my God. So let's um, welcome our own Deacon Rich. Are we ready? Praise God. Keep clapping for Jesus, amen. So we're going to be doing our songs together. So if you know it, just join me. Thank you. Just sit first. Volume. Volume, volume. It's a very simple song testifying about the goodness of God. Are you ready? Can we sing together? Uh. I can never understand Waiting I do to deserve you mm. You carry my matter for head on Even the one with no concern you mm. Even when I carry my leg and tower, hallelujah, you carry in panaka, they find me, oh. And when you see me, you carry me, put on to your shoulder, and you start to sing for me. Come on, baby. Is it 
love song to Jesus. You know, say I know it's above you. Aha. Say, maybe more. Aha. To Jesus. Go. In my love, baby. Come on. One, two, go. If I am. Uh, you know, say I know it's above for you. Thank you. You can pause it. So now the title of this next song is Blow My Mind. If you know this song, you can stand and sing with me. Are you ready? So this song is a, is a, is a vibing song. We are the youth in the house. Can you stand to your feet, everybody? See now only you you with the bloom. Come on. You they come to the rich and every time. And in your hand me, I put to my life. Lord, I'm so glad to call you mine. Hey, come and see what the Lord has done. He give me everything I need. Clap your hands. Come, come and see what the Lord has done. He gave me peace, give me good life. Oh, say, come and see what the Lord has done. He gave me everything I need. Oh, hey, come and see what the Lord has done. He gave me peace, give me good life. Say, see now only you with the blow my mind. You they come to the rich and every time. I need your hand, me up to my life. Lord, I'm so glad to call you mine. See now only you with the blow my mind. Hey. You they come to the rich and every time. And in your hand, me up to my life. Lord, I'm so glad to call you mine. Lord, on you, me, I fix my gaze. See now only you, I they give my praise. You come my life, come they change my ways. I go follow you. Your hands. On you, me, I fix my gaze. Say only you, and I give my praise. You come my life, come to change my ways. I go follow you all of my days. Come and see, oh, see. Come and see, oh, Ha! Come and see, oh. Jam your hands, come on, come on. Say, come and see, oh. One, two, go. Say, say now only you and I blow my mind. You they come to the witch and every time. And in your hand, me, I put to my life. Lord, I'm so glad to. One more time, say, say, now only you and I blow my mind. You they come to the witch and every time. And in your hand, me, I put to my life. Lord, I'm so glad to call you mine. Say, now only you and I blow my mind. You they come to the witch and every time. And in your hand, me, I put to my life. Yeah, you can pause it. One, two, three. I can't go before singing Daddy now. Or should I go? Okay, play the last track. Thank you. No, play Daddy. Play Daddy. So we are going to go to the left, to the right. Are you ready? Yes, sir. To the left, to the right. Your love for me. Say, it is priceless. Sing with me. The things you do, it boss my brain. Oh, I go give you praise. Hey. Cause you take my case, I go holler your name, oh, everywhere I go, you don't do what no man fit to do, you have turned my life around the oh, oh, oh. nobody can be like you, throw a salute for you, your love is good to me, everybody, your love, one, two, three, you say, Daddy, 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 you don't do me well, don't do me well, oh, oh my daddy, oh my Jesus, you don't do me well, oh. it's a very simple song, one more time, one, two, go, daddy, 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 you don't do me well, you don't do me well, oh. Oh my daddy, oh my Jesus, you don't do me well. Oh. You don't do me well. You've been on my case from the very first day until this day. Your place can be replaced. You've been good, so, so good. And your love is so, so true. Everybody go. You have done what no man fit to do. Hey, you have turned my life around the oh, oh, oh. Nobody can be like you. Throw a salute for you. Your love is good to me. Your love they give me joy. Oh yo yo. 
From the moment that we wake up until I lay my head, I will sing of the goodness of God. I love your voice. You have led me through the fire. In darkest times, you were close like no other. I know you are a father. I know you are a friend. I have been in the goodness of God. Sing on.
can we stand up? Stand up like a princess. Like a prince you are. Stand up. Okay. Permit me to welcome our own guest minister in the name of GT Prince. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Somebody excited in the house. Come on, jam your hands together for Jesus. Your hands are above your head. If the Lord has kept you from now, from the... Your hands are above your head. I want to know if we have youth in this house. This is going to be a different service. Come on, give God a shout. Uh, first of all, I want to appreciate the youth for having me. And um, I want to thank Mama. Thank you, God bless you. I want us to worship God for a few minutes before we go into praises. Come on, just lift your hands to Jesus. How the center of it all is you that I see. It's you that I see. Out of center of it all, it's you that I see. It's you that I see. There is power in your name. 
to the King of Glory. If you're happy to be among the living today, come on, put your hands together for Jesus. All right. We are just getting started. Hope you're not tired. Oh, yeah, face your neighbor. See, are you ready to shake your body for Jesus? Ah, are you ready to shake your body for Jesus? Are we ready? Are we ready? Somebody make some noise. All right. Creator of the universe, what can you do? What can you do? Jesus, say creator. We give you praise, Jesus. What can 
want you to face your neighbor. You got no professor. Face your neighbor.
rising of the sun to the setting of the sea. Your name, your name. Everywhere I go, 
can worship you for me. Are you sure? For all the things you've done for us. Yes, sir. And no one can worship you for me. He's my worship. voices if you are not tired. Somebody make some Holy Ghost noise! Can you put your hands together for this man please? Just put your hands together for him. Come on! Come on! I have I have four more minutes and I want you to dance like never before. Eh? Ole! Streets of joy! Ole, 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 ole,
let's meet our time. And this is a moment we have in our life. And with a standing ovation, please, guys. And with a round of applause, let's welcome our own Pastor Chimwe. <laughs> Hallelujah. I believe that you did that one for yourself. So can we just jump up on our feet and give the Lord a mighty praise. Jump up on your feet and worship him. Give the Lord a shout. Call him by his name. He's the king of kings. He's the Lord of lords. He's the ancient of days. He's the lion of the tribe of Judah. He's the mighty one in battle. He's the God that changes not. We worship you. We give him praise. Hallelujah. Just keep the music down a bit because some of us are, we are women, you know. We cannot... Hallelujah. I was just laughing a bit when Chinea came out and her voice was trying to overshadow the music. Hallelujah. Just take one minute to just um, bless the Lord in your heart. The God who is God all by himself. Glorious God. He's the wonderful king. He's the excellent one. There is no failure, no darkness, no limitation in him. There is no shortcoming. There is no half measures in him. There is no nearly in him. He is everlasting and everlasting is he. Just worship him in the, from the depth of your heart. Think about it when you're saying it. If you call him your Rafa, think about it. If you call him your Jire, think about it. If you call him your Jehovah Rafika, think about it. If you say you are my Jehovah Sikenu, think about it. He's exalted above the clouds. He's exalted beyond all the heavens. He's seated in light and light is here. He is unapproachable. He is holy. He is righteous. He is a God who is faithful. He does not change. And situations, circumstances, times and seasons do not shift his godness, his godliness, his majesty. It is him that we worship this evening. I want you to know that what we've done is nothing. Oh, we could praise him for the whole night. We could worship him for the whole night because when the praises go up, he opens up another level and another level. If you are with me in the spirit, you will see that we've been going higher and higher and it's, it's becoming increasingly difficult to stop because that is what God does. When you come to praise him, he will open another dimension of who he is so that you will see that you have not yet scratched him. You have not yet opened. You have not yet come. You have not yet started and he fills your heart with more praise. So today we just want to take the fruit of our lips and just worship you who is like you God. In all the earth, you are the matchless love. You are the beauty. And indeed, oh God, your presence is heaven. We worship you. We bless your name. You are God all by yourself. Oh Jesus, 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 Jesus. It is, it is my duty tonight to just pray and release us with the blessings of God. So um, I, I will resist the temptation to sing all the songs that are in my head. But I'm going to sing one. It's a very simple song. Lord, it is you that is worthy. You that is worthy. You that is worthy of this praise, it is you that is worthy, only you that is worthy, oh, you that is worthy.
is worthy of all that we have done this evening. I'm going to just leave a few things with us. This evening, just being in this atmosphere, there's such a strong presence of God in this place. is undeniable because when we build praise, God builds his tabernacle in the midst of his praise. That's what his word says. So God is here and it's an opportunity to ask him of the things that you desire. I'm not going to take our time. The Bible says in the book of Jeremiah, I'm just going to speak the word of God. The, the blessing that God dropped in my spirit for the house tonight. Jeremiah chapter 31 verse 3 to 4. It says, I have loved you with an everlasting love. I have drawn you with unfailing kindness or with my loving kindness. Verse 4 says, I will build you up again. And you, virgin Israel, put your name there. And you, Chinwe, will be rebuilt. Say it again. And you, Chinwe, will be rebuilt. Say it again. And you, Chinwe, will be rebuilt. Again, you will take up your timbrels and go out to dance with the joyful. That means that at this point in time, Israel was separated from the joyful. But God is saying, by the reason of what I'm going to do, you will find yourself in the midst of where you should have been already. In the midst of the joyful. Verse 5 says, again, you will plant vineyards on the hills of Samaria. The farmers will plant them and enjoy their fruits. I have loved you with an everlasting kindness. With an everlasting love. And I have drawn you with my loving kindness. That is the word that God spoke specifically to my spirit for someone today. So I want you to know that wherever you are, wherever you were before you walked in here. There is a love that will always win your failures, over your failures, over your shortcomings. It will be louder than your mistakes. It will be louder than your incapacities. It will always draw you beyond, beyond anything else that you want, you think you are capable of doing. It will exceed your thoughts about yourself. It will lift you high above the failures, the mistakes, the repeated sinning. God says, I have loved you with my everlasting love. It is not negotiable. It doesn't dim with the night and start again in the morning. It is always unfailing, steadfast. That is the love I have for you. That is what God is saying. And nothing can shift it. Hallelujah. And God just wants me to drop something in your spirit. Can I just say to you, child of God, if you've spent um, two hours today, three hours, praising God. God wants me to know that you wants me to tell you that you've not done anything ordinary. You've not done anything ordinary. Do you know why? The Bible says that you are a royal priesthood. What do priests do? They offer sacrifice. So you have just fulfilled your calling. You have just done what you are called to do, which is to offer sacrifice to the highest altar that there is. The highest altar that is exalted above all to the highest name. And therefore, what you have done is brought yourself into alignment and into agreement again with who God has called you to be. So nothing else can call you anything that you are not. Because what you've done is fulfilled. I am a royal priesthood. So I bring offering. So I fulfill my calling. So I stand in a place where God has called me to be. I offer sacrifice unto him. And we remember the scripture, the experience of the woman at the pool of, uh, of Samaria. The, the, the woman that Jesus met. The woman of Samaria. Hallelujah. In the book of John chapter 4. Very common scripture. The spirit of the living God had me say, will have me say something. The Bible says, Jesus said to her, but the hour is coming and now is. Do you know what that means? It means that while some people are waiting for a prepared time, some people are waiting for an organized time when it's convenient. God is saying, Jesus is saying, where you are right now is the time. It's the appointed time. It's a time to praise. It's a time to offer spirit and truthful praise. Spiritual and truthful praise. So I want you to turn to your neighbor and say, now is the time. Regardless of what the enemy might be saying, now is the time. The time appointed for the higher praise of God. Jesus was saying to her, and now recognize that there is a now season. There is a now thing that I'm doing. Nothing else can interfere with my now, what I'm doing. And Jesus, God just wants me to tell you, child of God, as well today, that what you've done today is highly supernatural, highly spiritual, because the Bible says that God seeks those who worship him in spirit and in truth. Do you know what that means? It means that while you are yet in your body, you are able to ascend beyond the mundane things, beyond the things that are destroyed stopping you, telling you, oh, I'm going to a shift tonight. Oh, how am I going to pay my bills tomorrow? Oh, that thing is, is lingering. Oh, that sickness, that disease. God is saying that what you have done today raises you 
on a level higher than those natural things. I lift you, I elevate you beyond the things that want to hold you down because spiritual things are higher than the understanding of nature or human nature. So what you've done today is lifted yourself, separated yourself from nature and done something highly spiritual because the Bible says I'm seeking the now is the time. I'm seeking people how the hour has come. I'm seeking those who will worship me beyond the nature, beyond whether they feel like it or not beyond whether it is convenient or not beyond whether the music is sounding good or not, by the way the music sounded good beyond whether the instruments are sounding by the way they all sounded good, beyond whether I am hot or sweaty or not, what I'm doing cannot be understood by human nature. I am supernatural I've connected myself to a supernatural thing. I've done something higher than my human nature and understanding will tell me to do. So I want you to stand up tonight and tell yourself, because I have done this spirit thing, because I've done this deep spiritual work, because I've connected myself to the higher things of God, because I have transcended beyond my comfort zone, because I have answered the call of God to worship Him in spirit and in truth, I begin to manifest the things of the spirit. Nothing around me remains ordinary the circumstances of my life respond to the supernatural like it did to that woman that day that kept her soul like a who had how many husbands listen she changed that day because God drew her into a higher thing out of where she was into the spirit out of where she was into the now is and God has said I've drawn you from where you were before you came this evening I have brought you into a now is season where everything around you starts to align with the spiritual realm. Begin to call for the things that must be. Begin to prophesy the things you want to see. Oh God, because I have done the now is, because I have transcended beyond nature tonight and connected to spirit and truth and I have worshipped you in spirit and truth I agree that my health manifests the spiritual. I agree that the supernatural is bursting forth around me. The Bible says that a man led by the Spirit cannot be interpreted. He says whether he's going to the left or to the right nobody can know. The Bible says that if that same Spirit who raised Jesus from the dead is walking on the inside of you, he will help your mortal body. In other words, everything around you that is not making sense must make sense. Begin to decree tonight because I have done the Spirit thing. Because I have aligned with the now is move of God. I begin to decree now is uh, in my marital desires. Uh, now is uh, in my body for healing. Uh, now is, uh, oh God, uh, in my in my area where I need your deliverance. Uh, now is, oh God, uh, in my finances. Uh, there is a now is dimension. Uh, there is a now is shift, oh God. Uh, there is a now is manifestation. There is a now is newness. Uh, there is a new thing happening now. Uh, I dislodge myself from the past. I am in the now is move of God. Rakapo Shantaliata. Where God is doing a thing now. Where God is unlocking portals. Because I have worshipped him in spirit and in truth. I have laid everything aside. I've said God see my heart. See my dance. See my voice. See my sound. I keep a soul apart. I agree tonight. Raketo Shantaliata. There is a now is manifestation. There is a now is manifestation. There is a now is manifestation. Yesterday is in the past. Now I call forth the things of the spirit, the things of the supernatural, the things that are manifesting like miracles, signs and wonders. That is what I call forth in the name of Jesus. That is what I call forth in the name of Jesus. I want you to know that when, when, when you praise, child of God, when you praise, when you pray, the, the Bible says that the man led by the Spirit cannot be interpreted. You can't say it's like the wind. You can't say it's going in this direction or in that direction. Do you know why, what, what, what the Spirit of God said to me this evening? As you were praising him, for some of us, he, he brought out some swords and started to scatter the enemy on your behalf. For some of us, there were different dimensions of manifestation. I decree in your life as you walk out of here, you will see the manifestation of what your praise has made to happen in the spirit realm tonight. In the name of Jesus. Because you can't interpret the move of the spirit. For some of us, he has got to get the finances that you need. For some of us, he has moved in to go and align your helper into the place where they need you cannot interpret the move of the spirit. 
and because the spirit of the living God has called us into a higher place tonight and we worshipped him in obedience I decree he enters into your matter I decree he enters into your health I decree he is aligning your destiny I decree that nothing goes wrong in your life as you step into 14th April I decree and declare your life takes a new dimension for the better in the name of Jesus I decree that new things that I have never seen but never been seen imagined or thought about by you or any other man or any other woman or any other living being is bursting forth from your life bursting forth into your destiny bursting forth to make things work for your good in the mighty name of Jesus take hold of what God is doing now, I decree that because you have pleased God, as you were praising him, he was pleased, he looked down from heaven and his heart was gladdened, look at my child Mary, look at my child John, I decree that same way, is God announcing you where your name needs to be heard that same way, is God announcing you where you need to be heard in the people that matter, in the places that matter, in the ears that matter on the tables that matter in the boardrooms that matter, in the decision making places that matter in the mighty name of Jesus as your praises were loud tonight so would the voice of God be loud over the camp of darkness on your behalf scattering them like thunder and lightning in the mighty name of Jesus I decree tonight God is giving you a testimony that will sound like lies you will tie it to this day you will tie it to this day you will know that you did not waste your time what you've done is banked your praise. You banked your worship. Can I dare you, child of God, from today on, keep on referring to this day. Oh God, remember that day, when I came in in obedience, I could have been anywhere else. I could have been sleeping it's a Saturday. I could have gone to another party. I could have I could have even picked up a very well-paid shift. But I chose to praise you. Oh God, arise for my sake. Arise and do me well. Arise and meet my need. May this day be uh, like the days when the Israelites would raise an altar of remembrance unto God that their children could refer to to be blessed. I decree that this day an altar is raised uh, for remembrance for your sake. Uh, in the name of Jesus when you refer to it, the God of heaven, the Father, the Son and the Holy Ghost will bear witness and answer you speedily. In the mighty name of Jesus. I decree you are blessed. I decree you are highly favored. I decree that the hand of God is heavy upon you for good. And I decree that the word of God spoken concerning you that is watching over to perform will never fall to the ground without fulfilling the purpose for which it has been sent. In the mighty name of Jesus, ride on the wings of the Holy Ghost. Ride on the wings of the supernatural because you have done supernatural things today. Father, we give you the glory and we give you the praise. Peradventure, you're here under the sound of my voice and you believe in God for healing. Can I just ask you to lay your hands wherever that that place is. Just lay your hands, lay your hands. You're not going to say, God, heal me. You're going to say, thank you, God, for healing me. You're going to say, thank you for unlocking my healing. Because I have worshipped you in spirit and in truth. The spirit of the living God courses over my body from the crown of my head to the sole of my feet. And nothing remains the same. Complete it, oh God, what you started already. Complete it, oh God. Thank you for restoration. Where things were non-functional, where things were not working, where things were insignificant, where, where were not fulfilling their significance in the lives of people, in the bodies of people. I call them forth alive right now. I begin to decree restoration and I remove every lump, every growth, everything that is not needed, that, that is not meant to be in the life of someone. I crush it on the feet and I reverse the move of darkness in the bodies of anyone under the sound of my voice. I decree it is done. I decree it is done. Carry your healing. Carry your deliverance. Carry the finger of God over your body, in your tissues, in your organs, in your bones, in your marrows, in every aspect of your life and your body in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you. We give you praise. Your name is a strong tower. The righteous run into it and they are safe. Thank you for what you've done tonight. We live to worship you.
we live to worship you. We live to worship you. We live to worship you. We live to worship you. Hallelujah. Just thank him. Say thank you, Jesus. We're going to do something significant. We're going to turn. Remember the theme of this event is light up. Light of the city. Right. So we're going to be prophets. And we're going to turn to the four corners of this room. And we're going to decree Birmingham receive the Lord. We're going to say Birmingham receive the Lord Jesus. Birmingham will know the Lord. As the Lord lays it on your spirit, you're going to be dethroning every faulty altar and everything that has not been erected in the name of Jesus. Anything that is speaking against the children of God, any demonic altar that spews out darkness, sickness, prostitution, con uh, uh, co corruption, drugs, gang, gang culture and everything, you pull them down. Let us start from this side and we'll turn to this side. We're doing something prophetic. We're connecting ourselves to God. This is what the Bible talks about that the gospel of Christ will preach to the ends of the earth and then Jesus will come. Begin to decree Birmingham. You arise, you are shine, you shine, you will know the Lord. We decree and declare that every altar that has raised up against the name of Jesus is the throne tonight. We decree that every territorial demon bows to the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, we decree every corruption, every gang culture, every curse that has, that lingers over this, this city, this West Midlands we break it by the blood of Jesus turn to this direction and do the same thing hey, because there was somebody like me who arose, I decree that darkness cannot stand, it cannot perpetrate his plans, it cannot fulfill his dictates it cannot stand in the name of Jesus, every projection against the city, against the West Midlands, I dethrone you by fire in the mighty name of Jesus. Decree the God of heaven will be known. This church will be an avenue from which Jesus and his name will be glorified upon this the, the city. In the name of Jesus, turn to this direction. Begin to dethrone every altar of idolatry. Every altar that claims to worship a religion that is not the religion of Christ. But it is not actually that religion but idolatry. We're going to dethrone every demonic altar, every spirit that offers sacrifices, injunctions, injunctions in rivers in high places uh, calling the name of the city every stronghold that has been erected uh, that is not erected in the name of Jesus we pull you down we set you on fire we pull you down we set you on fire in the name of Jesus I want you to turn to this direction I'm just beginning to decree and declare Birmingham in the name of Jesus West Midlands you will know the Lord you will serve Jesus as your Lord and Savior wherever we step out to evangelize whenever we step out to preach the gospel of Christ the doors are open the gates are open the territories are receiving Jesus we decree and declare that the lordship of Christ is exalted over this nation over the West Midlands over the over Birmingham over this vicinity where we worship in the name of Jesus people will run into church to beg for Jesus people will resign to what they had worshipped before and seek the name of Christ for their answer and for their blessings. Decree it is done in the name of Jesus. And I want you to just begin to lay your hands on the on the ground and begin to decree and declare this land is prosperous as we have spoken to today and we said light up. We decree you are lit up by the gospel of Christ. You are lit up by the gospel of Jesus. And as the sole of my feet steps on you so do I possess you I possess you from my own possession I possess you as a possession of Christ in the mighty name of Jesus and I decree that God that the knowledge of Christ will fill the ends of the earth as the waters cover the sea in the mighty name of Jesus you can rise to your feet and decree the dawn father we worship you this evening for what you've done we thank you for what you've done we 
thank you for establishing your mandate over the city. Thank you for calling us for such a time as this to stand in the gap and to build the altar of Christ where it ought to be. I decree that because we have partnered with you in building your altar, so would that altar also bless our lives. So will that altar speak over our lives. Because we've partnered with you in dethroning darkness and enthroning the name of Christ in this nation. God, you will plant us in strategic places where Christ can be preached through us, seen through us, and glorified through us. In the mighty name of Jesus, as every man leaves this place, oh God, they live into new dimensions of grace. They live into greater dimensions of God's mercy, God's favor. Higher dimensions, oh God, that they've never seen before. Portals, gates, opening for them. Deep, deep, dropping into their lives, pushing into their lives, the things they've been waiting for for such a long time. The time, Father, to favor them is now. And I decree it is done. Thank you for the release of fresh oil over the head of everyone. The oil of possibility, the oil of good news, the oil of good, 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 good favors, good, good news. Yes, God. Thank you, God Almighty, for granting it into the life. I decree that this oil, it distinguishes every man who has been under the sound of this ministry today for a blessing that will last and transcend generations. Nothing missing and nothing broken. Be exalted forever, O oh God. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen, amen. And the church will say. Amen. And the church will shout. Amen. Who is taking this from me? Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Right, should we just share our closing declaration? But before we do that, um, what's, what's on your program? What's happening next? You're going to sing. Right. Can I just take the opportunity to welcome everyone who has come for the very first time? Just wave your hands. Wave your hands. If this is your very first time ever, 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 ever in streams of joy, bear me in harm. I, I can see so many new faces. Everybody's clapping. I'm not seeing the people who are waving. The newcomers are, wa are, are the ones that should be waving. Yes. The first, the first timers. Am I confusing you? If you've never been in Streams of Joy Birmingham before, just wave your right hand. Old, old, old commas, don't clap. You're, conf you're, you're making them clap. Right. So, can, can you just wave again, guys? Thank you so much. Can we just now clap for them? Can we appreciate them? Thank you so much for being here. And I believe that you've been blessed. Thank you for being in here. Um, I just want to appreciate the youth ex executive and everybody who is not a youth, youth executive for making this possible. Um, I know that some of us would want to continue to praise until Jesus comes. Uh, <laughs> so I'll leave you to carry on. <laughs> yeah. Um, I want to thank you for doing this. This is just the beginning of greater things that God is yet to do. Thank you so much for everyone who has come for the very first time. My name is Pastor Chinwe and I'm privileged to be the resident pastor of Streams of Joy Birmingham. God bless you for accepting our invitation and I hope we'll see you in church tomorrow and I hope we'll see you in future events and I hope that you make this church your plug. God bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. So I, I, I share the closing declaration. Oh, okay. Thank you. I'm following their lead. Yes. <laughs> Let's just stand, stand to our feet and decree and declare I am dwelling in the secret place of the Most High, I am abiding under the shadow of the Almighty. I am saying of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress. My God, in Him will I trust. Amen and amen. I want you to tell five people, don't go yet. I think they want to sing. Five people, Jericho walls have scattered. Amen. Tell five people.